G'day viewers, well huge news from the US presidential elections, as the man himself might say, with Ted Cruz dropping out of the race to get the Republican nomination. Now everything about this race has been a cavalcade of weird, but this was a turn of events I really didn't expect. Like Cruz quit just because he got really thumped by Trump? Isn't that what you've been doing all along, Ted? Getting beaten? Beaten like a rented mule? Humiliated again and again because this orange-faced comb-over freak just does you over all the time? How did it suddenly get to be too much, Ted? But for real, my first thought was that there must be something more to it. Like someone's finally dug up some dirt on Cruz. Trump's been saying weird crap forever about him having affairs and whatnot, but did they actually finally uncover something? Because it was so sudden and so unexpected. Like, I thought the whole game was just pull Trump back just enough so he doesn't get a majority of delegates before the convention and then they can have a big shit fight. Because obviously Trump was going to go there with the most votes, but if he doesn't have an outright majority, they could still try and play funny games, which I so wanted to see because that really seemed like it was going to go Thunderdome. It was going to be some big cage match and blood and fire. And I, for one, wanted to see it burn to the ground. But what's really happening with Cruz? Was there any clue in his departure? Was there anything on the news that could have given us a... It's right there! He spelled it out! He's letting us know they have actually exposed him as the Zodiac Killer. Although, if that was the case, why wouldn't he just kill Trump? He's got that much experience. Oh, and did you see Cruz beat the hell out of his wife? What, the, what is wrong with that guy? He's just not human. He does not function like normal humans. You see, all the stuff he said and done. Look. Trump's a raging narcissist, a pathological liar, full of crap, but something's just not right with Cruz. Anyway, Cruz being definitely gone is a far better result. Trump for nominee all the way. Like I said, he is on one level. He is just a better option. I will take a raging narcissist completely out of his depth a long time before I will take a maniacal holy warrior who literally wants to start a holy war. I do not want someone like that. I do not want someone to turn America into a Christian theocracy. It's gone far enough that way already without a zealot like Cruz. Besides, Trump in the general election against Clinton, he's going to get crushed. That Clinton camp, let it be known a couple months ago, they thought he was going to get the nomination and they've had serious plans to basically crush him. Trump's just a blowhard. He's an empty suit. I don't like Clinton very much at all. I think she's just a party hack and she's got nothing worthwhile to offer. But she is a battle-hardened political warrior. She's had so much shit slung at her from Republicans for decades and they haven't managed to got her. I mean, Trump, he's got nothing. Clinton will crush him and it's going to be hilarious. Side note, I may have said in a previous video there was definitely no chance Trump would get the nomination, which shows how much I know. So hey, maybe it's President Trump. Why not? Why not do it? Light the fuse, blow it up, burn it to ash. Maybe a better life form will evolve in the next million years. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I upload regularly, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, so you don't miss out. And if you like what I do and want to help me out, best thing you can do, share on social media. Tell your friends what they're missing out of. And hey, check my links below and you can follow me on social media as well. I've got a huge back catalogue, so stay around. There's plenty more to watch. Here's a couple of suggestions.